Hi everybody, this is Methyl Kaiju, and today I'll be doing something a little different. This is not a review. Um, I just recently saw Angel Flores' uh, newest video. I think it's his newest video. It's about the Discover Dinosaur Foot or whatever it is. Um, also, shout out to Angel Flores. Subscribe to him. But um, I decided to do something around that extent. And today I'll be showing off my uh, dinosaur fossils. Also, if you hear those noises in the background, just like right now, it's basically some cars driving by in the road and all that stuff. I don't know what they're doing. But, um, just try and not... Uh, just try and concentrate on my voice instead. But, uh, yeah, these are actual dinosaur bones that I got around five years ago, maybe three years ago, I'm not really sure. But I know it's more than two years ago, on one of the, on one of the Christmases. If that makes any sense. And these are actual bones. These are not one of those clay stuff or like one of those, uh, what replicas or whatever. These are actual dinosaur bones. And first off, here is the box which I keep these dinosaur bones. There's other stuff in this box, um, like some prehistoric dinosaur toys. And I also have some Moon and Mars rock samples, so. Um, but I'm just going to show off the dinosaur bones just because the video is titled like that. And this video was only meant for that. So, um, I know you can't see it, so let me actually, uh, there it is, all the stuff. I'll just showing, I'll, I'll just be showing off the dinosaur bones, not the toys. I mean, I could. I mean, right there is a trilobite, a giant frog, I don't know what that's supposed to be. A salamander, and that squid thing. I forgot what it's called. What's it called? Completely forgot. But yeah, that's that's what in there. That's what in there. And also here is the Mars sample rocks. That's one of them right there. And then where's the other one? Here. Here it is. Pretty cool. Also these this octopus thing is called um, Belemnites. Now I remember. And these toys are actually made in Germany, so they're pretty cool. Let me just show off the other ones. Uh, trilobite. I really like the trilobite, actually. Looks really nice. Um, also, here are some glow-in-the-dark dinosaur toys right here. They're kind of damaged because I got these when I was, like, in third grade. So, that looks pretty cool. And the last one. Plotticus. I also had a Dimetrodon, but I lost it. I th it's somewhere around the house, but I don't know where it's at. Here's a salamander. It's pretty cool. Okay, now let's get started with the actual bones. I'm going to back this away. First of all, let's start off with this awesome looking thing. Uh, this is a... We well, can barely even read what it says there, but it's a genuine fossil shark tooth. 50, 50, yeah, 50 million years ago. Excuse me, 50 million years old. This is after the dinosaurs. Uh, let me just take it out where you guys can see the... Authenticity. Check it out. And here is the bone of a shark. I don't know what shark it is. I think it says in the little text thing or whatever. But it's it's not during the dinosaur period, so. But it looks very awesome looking still. Looks really cool. Put this back in, in the bag. Seal it. And if you're wondering if I ever took these um to school, no, um, there is a bunch of opportunities that I was thinking of bringing this, like, and I was, like, what, in, like, fourth grade, or, no, fifth grade, I think we had to present something that's, you know, the most valuable thing we have, other than family and love and all that stuff, and I was gonna bring this, but instead I brought something else, but here's the other one, this is a Mosasaurus tooth. As you can tell by the image right there, I don't know if you can see it or well by the lights. But let me just take it out. And there it is. Here it is. Looks really awesome. The tip is broken off. I didn't broken. It just came like this. Which I do not care whatsoever because I'm really lucky to have this. Like, look at this. Looks really awesome. Really epic. And now let's put this back in the bag. Um, this might be a very long video just because there's a bunch of stuff. And because it kind of takes me a few seconds or even one minute at least 
or maximum to put these things away because you know, the bags are really tight. Um, but hey, okay, and another thing we have right here. Look at this. It looks like a regular rock. Okay, yeah, it does. But then look in the back. Oh, what is it? A excuse me. It's a caprolite. If you guys do not know what a caprolite is, caprolite is dinosaur poop. And this is from uh what is it? A herbivore, Jurassic period, hundred million years ago, Utah USA. So, yeah, that's a cra uh caprolite. Uh prehistoric poop basically. So it's pretty cool. Um, next thing. I really love this thing. This is a Spinosaurus tooth. Look at that. That's awesome. I'm definitely not um, taking these out of its case because, you know, these are, like, more delicate looking. See right there, and then... Uh, I don't know why I always do these backwards. Cretaceous. Oh, actually, no, this is not... Wait, Spinosaurus live when? Yeah, Cretaceous period. So, yeah, this is Spinosaurus. Because I almost thought that Spinosaurus lived in Jurassic, but no, he lived in Cretaceous. And this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex bone. Uh, this is a... What? I don't know. I don't even know what this is. Just a bone or something? I don't know. It kind of looks like tree bark, but it's not. It's from Hell Creek. If you guys don't not know what Hell Creek is, it's like this creek where, you know, there's a, like a gold mine of dinosaur bones there. Especially from the Cretaceous period. So. Uh, another thing. I think this is a Saltosaurus eggshell. I cannot really... Okay, yeah. Yeah, it is. Saltosaurus eggshell. This is from South America, because, you know, Saltosaurus lived in South America. Patagonia, specifically. And then we have this. This is not going to be so... This is going to This is gonna be hard to tell. It's some little bones right there. I don't know if you can tell. It's from... It's a Hadrosaur, which are duck-billed dinosaurs. Uh, can I open this thing? Yeah, I could, but... I'm not going to really show it right now, because it's like... There's some dirt in this, so I wanted to mess up the rug. Um, now we have Mosasaurus, what, rib bone. This is from Kansas, USA. Looks really cool. Let me try and take one out, at least. I don't think I've never opened these. This one, specifically. Um, let's see, which one can I take out? Let's try this one. Try and not break it, because these are, like, rare. And no, I'm not selling these, so people don't say, oh, can you sell these like for 10 bucks or something for me? Not at all. Here's one of the rib bones. It's pretty cool. Now uh, let's put these back in the bag. Oh, uh, what else? Two more things. Sorry, this is getting a long video, whatever. Here's a Hadrosaur duckbill uh, tooth. Hadrosaur tooth. It's pretty cool. Very small teeth. You know, they're herbivores. And last thing is a Triceratops dinosaur tooth. Again, from Hell Creek Formation. And let me just... There it is. There we go. Here's a little tooth. It's very awesome looking. So that's basically all for this video. I just wanted to show off the dinosaur bones that I have. Because, you know, I just decided to. Please tell me in the comment below, what was your favorite dinosaur bone that I have, or prehistoric creature bone I had, because, you know, there's sharks in here, too, and mosasaurs, which are not dinosaurs. So that's basically all for this video, and subscribe, like, and comment. This has been the Kaiju, signing out.